All right, time to pick up where we left off. New steering wheel, steering column, surround thing. Borrowed this bad boy to try and cut my exhaust off. Got my number plate holder from Moon Eyes. Let's get a few bits together. Let's put this on first and then I can put the steering wheel on and that's all. Then the interior is all sorted in terms of dashboard, steering wheel. Here's the before, during and after. Batch is dead at the minute but this horn will work. It's all nice and not like the old one, which is exactly what I'm going for. So you can kind of see the transformation that I've done here. With the nice steering wheel, everything all okay, here is neat. This is now the ashtray is not broken, clamshell not broken, steering wheel different, no stereo. This is all done in here. Jump, jump time. Okay, it took a few different goes and a few different approaches. Because um, it's still almost too wide to get through. So that's ready to come off. So now I've got to get everything else back off and try and wobble it all apart. Well, got that bit off. Um, as you can see, this wasn't even connected in any way. I just, because obviously I sawed this off, took these out and then that just came out. So now I'm left with the cat just hanging there but the top bolt is all rounded off so I've got to figure out what to do with that pretty much <laughs> see the state state of that it's a beauty that is So yeah, time to deal with this and then it will be ready. Okay, so I'm going to catch up with you when the exhaust is changed. Had that problem with the rusty bolt and the rest of the fight isn't going to be pretty, so I'll show you when the exhaust is on. Alright, here we are. One of the last jobs to do. Paint over these scuffs. Front lip. Get it all painty, painty, painted. Lots of scuffs. Got the back bumper to paint too and the rear light centre panel. I'm also going to be finishing fitting my number plate. And then that's basically it. I've ordered some new yellow tint for these as well. But I've just taken off the split rods and actually managed to get the bumper to hold up right. Um, right enough. So I think I'm going to run without those. But I'm going to leave the holes in case I want to put them in. Got to start sanding this up now. Start getting bits of paint on it. Right, so after a bunch of problems with the exhaust, it might be sorted soon. But the bumpers are here ready to paint. The number plate holders, the number plates are sorted, ready to go on. The brackets are on the car. It's all good to go. Not long left until it's done. Just gonna start painting. It's gonna be rough, but this is very much budget in budget approach right now. So I can't afford to get it painted professionally, else it becomes actually quite an expensive car. <laughs> so spray cans it is. Let's see how it turns out. There we go. First layer of primer. Whoa. 
coat in black. So here we go. Here they are. Um, Shiny-ish, but not really. But a bit. Um, I've got a quote to get them done properly. But obviously at the minute we're on a bit of a budget because I've just bought that car and we've not sold me other one yet. So, you can see I've gone through a lot of paint. Used all my clear coat. Got a couple of half cans of black left. But it's time to just mount them all back up because they're dry to the touch. But the car won't be driven, it'll just be the bumpers put back on and then pull the car back in here once I've cleaned up. I'll show you what the bumpers look like on the car. Step one, get it on there, complete. Get the lights in, get the plates on, job done. Fog lights in, side lights, and number plate. bunch of front end stuff done looking a bit neater than before despite the paint but you know neater now onto the back okay so since the last update I was just doing the back end I've got the exhaust off and I encountered a problem with the other exhaust so since then that exhaust has been sorted and I've put my number plate on my lovely angle that I like to have them at here's the exhaust the cat has been cut off and I've got this piece of pipe <laughs> with a flange on it it's a little bit movable it can go further out, further in and then that clamp will do it up nicely. So that should solve the problems. Don't know how loud that's gonna be without that overly restricted clogged up cat, but we'll see over the weekend. This has arrived, so it's time to do this. So we'll go from clear to yellow. So to finish this, we're going to put this on and see what it sounds like. So I'll get back to you when it's all on. There it is on. And now here's what it sounds like. gasket in there and it'll be job done so that is all from this episode and all from building this I'll do a little reveal episode um, to show you what I've done overall talking through it once it's clean and on the road so thanks for watching me build this car up to daily I'm sure I'll have a great time and thank you see you in the next one